What's up to you guys? It's me, Ethan EC. Today what I got for you guys is a Tucson 124, 129. Keep forgetting because Tucson always numbers their knives. I don't know why. And you know it gets confusing sometimes. So yeah. I'll let you know in the title of course. But now in in the review you will notice this little spot right here. Uh, I did not notice when I purchased this knife from OEC for EDC. I don't want to email them about it, but it's fine. It doesn't get in the way. Um, this is weird that that happened. Um, what else? Now, this is not the colorway that normally comes in. I believe there was an orange one, I believe, I think, or something like that. And a white and black one. And he red dyed this to red, so it, it matches and looks kind of nice, too. Okay, Blaine is, this is the first time I dealt with this blade, 12C27, blade steel, the ground lines are really nice, that's, only one, that, that's also the reason why I buy it, because the ground lines, um, no matter which way you point it, you'll see the ground lines, they look really nice, it's a wrong design, I don't know who wrong is, I chat just up beforehand. Let's do a size comparison. It's quite a large knife. Uh, looks, I think this would perform great in the kitchen because of the up swept blade. And it's good for slicing, good for uh, you know, long cuts and stuff. So, yeah, but let's do a size comparison. So it's in frame. You know, it has my bench made. Me and Bishou too. So, extra long, longer blade, of course. And let's get my USB ping rim. And let's get my Kaizo, no, my QB Ben Grant, something like that. So it's definitely a bigger knife. Um, so yeah. Now I did carry this. Sometimes. Just the blade was too big. When I was going to the city. Going to other places. So when I bought this knife. It was mostly to like parties and stuff. When I knew I needed something to cut with. So. And then it has the thinness of the blade. So it's really thin. Yeah, I did sharpen this myself. So that's definitely sharp. Um, for some dealing with this blade, uh, well, the blade steel, it's great. Um, get get a couple of chips in here. I don't know how. So I just took them out by sharpening them. Well, first I tried to sharpen them out and see if it did. It did somewhat, but then I just grit on my six hundred grit when you cut on it on my. Position does and took them out like that, and then resharp it and done. So, um, it is fun, it is one on ball bearings. There's no really other way. I mean, you could two hand open this one, but there's a flip a tab so you can use it. It does kick, um, it does not fail. Like, I'm not gonna put any, like, it works no matter what. Yeah. Top shorty, blade centering is let me make sure it's my camera. Uh, as you guys don't know, I'm going on the iPhone. My camera's on this side mostly, so if I put it on the knife on the sensor on this, it might look off. So I'm just trying to make sure it's like basically center lift the camera on this side mostly. So then, you know, it doesn't look off focus because like, so I put it in the middle of the camera right here. It might look off, um, off. So I'm just trying to make it more essential for you guys. It looks somewhat dead on. Um, you can tell me and try it if it's not. Okay. 
very big. I can put all my hands on it. There's someone jumping. So, and this is someone slippery. Um, so, it would be nice if there was Michael texturing or something on it. Um, there's no texturing on it. There's nothing to be on it to grip it. So, if the nice red, um, it's going to slip out of the hand. So, you need tight punches on it to actually use it. Uh, you can't really talk up on it because if you do, you might cut yourself. Um, you can put two fingers here and then hold it like that or hold it like this. But I wish there was some type of jumping on this so it, it can hold better in the hand. Um, deep, deep carry pocket clip. Not reset screws though. This it does hide quite well. It's really nice. Um, this is my first Tucson. Um, I gotta say, I might buy another Tucson, maybe. Maybe another one. I'm not completely sure that. This is very really interesting, to say the least. But yeah, guys, that's about all about this Tucson. Um, I hope I help you with some tips and stuff. Um, oh, by the T8 all wheel. Yes, T8 all wheel for everything. That's nice. Not like a T6 more off so T8, so that's not good by the way, but yeah, that's a oh, they mention this like a full or something to reduce the weight, I guess. But you can't really use this, like, you can't use it ish. But yeah, but anyway, guys, I hope you have a nice day. Um, I hope you have a nice day, evening, afternoon, who knows. Um, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day.